Hi guys, today we are going to be nailing and stringing a pug. So um, obviously I have my templates. I also have um, my wood which I have whitewashed using some, um, some white furniture paint and then I have whacked, I have let that dry, sanded it back and I've used some um, wax on this particular piece. So as we did yesterday, I'm just going to pop the template on and I'm going to be using um, some of this wool for the actual pug. Now I actually got this from a um, charity shop, so it was fairly inexpensive. Um, I'm going to be using some dark brown uh, tapestry threads and I'm going to be using some um, white wool, the thin fine wool because the tapestry threads can be quite expensive and you don't get too much on them so I prefer to use, for the colours that I use a lot of, the white and the blacks I tend to use um, just a fine wool and of course we'll be using the black for the outline um, so yes, I am going to start uh, obviously you also need your nails some people call them pins I call them nails, if you can see them in there. Um, I particularly like this, this um, the ones that I use here. These are pin tacks, but I will put something in the description. You will need pliers and you will also need, I use a pin hammer. Uh, it's nice and lightweight and easy to use. So if we get started, so you want to pincer your nail um, between the pliers and start going around your template. You want to leave it about a centimetre above the actual wood. Just make sure it's straight. And then leave mm, a centimetre between each pin or nail. then you just continue like this. So I'll see you once I have finished nailing my pug. Okay, so I've nailed all of the, the template, the pug, and now, uh, like we did in a previous tutorial, we're going to take off the, the template. Now, firstly, I just wanted to say, um, the way that I do, so obviously we've got some sort of longer lines um, going around in some of the sort of wrinkly bits of the pug. Um, I do space out my nails slightly more because we're just going to outline those so you don't need them really, really close together. Uh, obviously, you just need to make sure that you've got the bends in the right place. So, um, yeah, that's just one little, one little thing that I would tell you about that. So I'm now going to just take this off. And it's not always as easy as it looks. Actually, it's not been too bad. Sometimes when I have a lot of um, a lot of detail, obviously it um, doesn't all come off in one like that. So there we go. So we've already um, waxed this piece, so we don't need to oil like we did yesterday in the unicorn tutorial. Um, so now I am going to begin stringing. So I'm going to start with the body of the actual, the background colour, the main colour should I say, of the pug. So like we did yesterday, I'm going to just make a, a knot like that, 
so you've got a loop and then I'm going to just pop that over the first string and again I'm going to be doing this more of an up down as opposed to crisscross I'm just going to snip that end off like that and then I'm going to begin stringing and I shall see you after I have finished Okay, so here we are, we have finished the pug. Um, normally I would probably spend a little bit more time on doing the shading and the detail, but for this tutorial, this is the pug. Um, it took me about an hour to string and about half an hour to nail. Um, and there we go there is our effect so all you want to do now is obviously put your um, self adhesive um, pads on the back and your hanging hook and then it's ready to be hung and that is my little tutorial on the pug so if you would like to follow me you can follow me on Facebook it's M's bobbins and buttons if you want to find me on YouTube, it is The She Shared Reviews. And please like, follow, share, subscribe, and please make sure you turn on your notifications so that you know when I'm going to be, when I've posted another video. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, and both, both of my pages feature nails and string. As you know, it is my first love. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching, guys.